Hi. Welcome to my channel, Mags Works and Hobbies. This time we have here an Akira LED TV. Symptoms. This set shutting down after a few minutes, and return into standby mode. As we can see, we have a working TV. Let's check the essential voltages such as 12 volts, 5 volts, 3.3 and so on. We measured 10 volts instead of 12 volts, and it went down into 9 volts. The 5 volts drops into 4.2 volts. This time we used analog multimeter. Watch. The TV shut down. Let's check the power supply board. These two diodes are for 12 volts supply. The one is so hot. We need to replace these two diodes even the other is still okay. It's SR515. I don't have it. But I think we can use SR510. After we replaced those diodes, let's monitor the 12 volts. As we can see, still the supply drops slowly. There is still a problem. I already encountered this kind of symptoms from my past repair. We have a normal temperature for these two diodes. Let us now check the optocoupler. Remember this. Analog multimeter is strongly suggested to use when testing this kind of component to detect the leakage between pins. Set your meter into X10K. We must read high resistance for pins connected into primary of the power supply, and low reading for pins connected into secondary part of the power supply. There must be no reverse reading between pins 1 and 2, and 3 and 4. I think we found the main causes of the problem. We measured low resistance for pins connected to primary section. It must be high, and of course no reverse reading. Remember to unsolder the two pins when measuring the resistance. This is common optocoupler. It is widely used by different type of power supply. It's 817. We measured low resistance for pins connected to primary section. It must be high, and of course no reverse reading. Mm -hmm. 
This is common optocoupler. It is widely used by different type of power supply. It's 817. After we replace the suspected defective component, let us monitor again the power supply. We must have a stable output. We solved the problem. We have stable 11.7 volts and stable 5 volts. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can also give your comments. Thank you. Bye for now.